Hey, what's going on everybody? Well, my customer complained about a bad, like a wet sock kind of smell inside. So I'm cleaning the coils off and then I'm going to put treatment pads in the drain. So what I'm going to be doing is pressure washing this evaporator coil. I've opened up the system, not 100%, but I opened it up enough that I have full access to it. So what I did here was I put a bag over the motor and the blower housing so water can't get in. I put a plate to block splashing from going into my return. The plate was this door here, because you could either side vent your return duct or you can come up from the bottom. So let's get started. I'm gonna first start just by giving a spray, which is gonna knock a lot of dust off on its own. As you can see from the water, not crystal clear. And I'm gonna turn my pressure down a little because I don't need max on an evaporator. So, no. the other side real fast use an angle fitting on here so this way I can get my pressure washer in on a good angle all right now we got to soap it up so we did get some splashing through but that's okay I could even just hit this green stuff off, but that's... That'll come off easier after soaping. Fortunately, you can't soap on the angle, so... Get that soap in there. I can even soap it in this way. Any bacteria, anything on this coil that might be putting off a bad smell should be gone. And that's why I put this plate here. So the water is just hitting that and not really going in. Right now I'm gonna let that soak. Plus I gotta let some of that water come out of the drain. I don't want the drain overflowing. Actually it won't take long for that to mostly drop. The drain is almost done leaking. So let's start giving it a blast. And as you can see, Bubbles are coming through. It's pushing whatever's in the coil off. see the bubbles are all inside cabinet wide bagged off the fan and everything this isn't too bad but 
I'm doing all three units. Then I'm gonna put the tabs in, this way I know they're clean. Now, I'm gonna go on the upward. Or, so it's straight. One of the good things about the evaporator is it's self-rinsing also. So besides, you can see I'll pull it that way. Is that? Let's move that for a second. I'll put it back in. Drain pan needs to drop a little. See that plate stopping a lot. A little bit gets in the dock. It's gonna dry before anybody notices. this way. Give this a minute, some of the water to come out. You can see as I'm spraying on a very downward angle, so this way the water will hit the plate if it goes through. But it'll still get that soap even deeper if it doesn't rinse it all out. And then as it runs, it's self-rinsing because it's always wet. At least here, if you're in a dry climate, it may not be that wet, but here we're pulling a lot of water out of the air. So let's just finish it off. Just getting a little misting on the back. So, same here. And anything else on this coil, I'm pretty much gonna let rinse itself. What you, want, what you want to do is you want to make sure you clean it to the point where it's not just going to shoot bubbles out of the supply. So there you go. I'm going to let that finish running out. And then run it. Let it take any of the extra soap off and then put a drain pan tablet in. That green stuff is not going to really come off too easy. so. I'm just gonna leave it, but give it a little brush, you know, a little something, something. Show it a little love. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time, I'm Bill. I'm out. Like, subscribe, and peace.